Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and happy Feast of St. Matthew, one of the Twelve Apostles, a martyr for the faith, one of the Gospel writers, and my patron saint. He's a great, great saint. And today in the Gospel of the Mass, we read about his story of conversion, his encounter with Jesus, and then his decision to follow our Lord. And really, the, the Gospel, it's very short. You know, Jesus sees him. He says, follow me. St. Matthew stands up and he, and he follows our Lord. If only all of our stories of conversion were seemingly so simple, right? And although I'm sure there's so much more going on, I mean, look at this beautiful depiction, Caravaggio, very famous, is very, very deep, his interpretation of, of the gospel story. I want to focus more on what happens after his call, after his moment of conversion. So he organizes a dinner and he invites Jesus to come to this dinner and then he invites his friends to come to this dinner. And you might ask yourself, you know, why? Why does he do this? Is it to show off? You know, hey, everybody, I'm one of the 12. I'm one of the chosen ones. Jesus chose me. And I don't think so. That's not what he's doing. Now, although the gospel doesn't say, so this is my opinion, I think more what's going on is that St. Matthew had spent so much of his life seeking peace and seeking fulfillment in the things of the world. You know, he was a, he was a tax collector. You know, he was a wealthy man, an educated man. And I'm sure he had prestige and he had power and he had money. And he thought that maybe these things were going to bring him the peace that he so desired in his heart. And they didn't. And then here comes Jesus. He, he gazes upon him. And I can only imagine what St. Matthew saw in the eyes of our Lord. But I think it had everything to do with peace. <laughs> Fulfillment, satisfaction, mission, purpose. He saw that in our Lord. And he followed him. He encountered Christ and experienced peace. And so he has this dinner so that he can he can introduce his friends to our Lord so that they too, probably very powerful, probably other wealthy people in the society at the time, that they can find the true peace that they so long for and desire in their hearts. Now I want to I want to I want to focus on this because brothers and sisters, the question for us is are we doing the same thing? Are we sharing what we've received with those around us, with our friends, with our family? And I want to point out that you know, there's intentionality behind what St. Matthew was doing. You know, he had to prepare a dinner. You know, he had to work <laughs> in order to make that happen. He had to send out invitations. He had to get people there. It was the same day. I'm sure there was an urgency to what St. Matthew was doing, an intentionality behind it. So do we have an, a sense of urgency? Do we have a sense of intentionality? Who are we reaching out to? You know, are we really trying to share that which, we, which we've received with those we love? most. Today, let's pray about that. And let's let's think about, yeah, how can I? How can I be more intentional? How can I be more purposeful in sharing the great joy, the peace that I've received through my encounter with Christ? Mother Mary, I ask you to pray for all of us that we can, in imitation of St. Matthew, be full of zeal, be full of fervor, be full of gratitude for everything we've received, and then sharing with that, that with those around us.